Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a planner wrap using Angular 14 or you can use Angular 15 as well. I have used this 14 by the at the time of building it was 14. So I've used 14. It makes no difference keeping an Angular 15 or 14 for this app. It's all same. Okay, there's no special uh, stuff used in this project. So you can use any version that you like. Anyway, this is the app that you're seeing and I will just gonna explain what this app is doing and then I'm gonna provide you the complete code. If you wanted to know and learn about Angular, I would suggest go to my channel and take these two as your complete learning of Angular. So this version uses a beautiful website of product, step-by-step -step learning of each and every important concept of Angular. And then the reactive form is used to build the product addition saving you know edit delete all those options are built using reactive forms and this is the one so use these two and the api the support for this app is this one you can use this web api or you can actually go all the way through down you can use this app this is a restaurant app and this app is supported by the main angular 13 is this one Okay, so I have both the API, web API and the Angular on my YouTube channel. You can see whichever you like, but this app that I'm gonna demo is gonna be not from scratch to end. I'm gonna give you the complete code. I'm gonna explain the code at a high level and you can actually explore the rest of the code. Okay, if you have any questions, you can always comment in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to support you. Now, this app is supported by ADB2C login. A to B to C login also is there in my YouTube channel. If you have to know how to set up this, please go through that video. And uh, that video is here. The complete video is here. This one. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what it is. So basically, when you log in by the user, like say currently I've logged in. Okay. So it will present you the current month. And if you have already saved some planner, uh, details for a particular day it will show you like this like a view and edit if you have not it will show you plan okay you can actually view it you can actually update it or you can go to plan and select whichever date you want and start typing the details here so either you can go to the plan and pick up any date that you want plan it accordingly like it basically has the priority, the timing, the, the, the plan that you wanted to do, like like breakfast, you know, I want to eat breakfast, um, come on, 6 o'clock, no one will eat breakfast, so wake up, I want to wake up at 6 o'clock, do some exercise, do some breakfast, and then go to office, or go to school, or whatever, right, go to college, depending on what you're doing, and then, you know, you can actually plan your day if you want to get something done you can actually do here you can customize this app actually in fact this is it's just the three numbers that i've added in fact if you customize this app you can add a number of items here you can change this to a different number time period and you can include this everything is customizable okay so the supporting api there's a separate video go over that that is what this is getting powered now if you see, look at this, this is the home app. Okay, this is a component with the home page. And then if you click on this, it goes to a different route, right? So the routing is used. And if you go to edit, it basically goes to a different route. You can see plan, edit, and then an item number 12. All right. And then if you want to view it, you can go here. This is a different route. You can change the route. And if it doesn't have data, it's gonna fall back to the same place. If it has data, then we know it's gonna 14 right so let's go view let's go to 14 it will present the data you see this if you choose the wrong number which doesn't have data it's gonna fall back to the previous one all right so what it is basically doing is um this is the code let me zoom it so you will know i'm gonna close this okay if you look at this app basically let's go to package right now it's 14.2 even if you're using 15 it's gonna work it's perfectly gonna work okay so no worries there and um, basically this is the structure we have a app structure we have header component home component some models these models are coming from the api um, you can check their api uh, i will give you all the links in the description you can 
actually check the API documentation. So these are the models that are supporting. Okay, so these are the models. This is another ng module. So ng module uh, module uh, basically apart from your app module, there is another module, and here um, you have the a uh, route for your a particular plan module. Okay, so when you click on edit or view or doing delete this is the route it's going to take so create edit and view okay so this is the ng model and then you can see a uh, create uh, create is used with the reactive forms i've already taught uh, how to how to use the reactive forms so it's it's basically same all right and then uh, view edit all those things are same here and we have some common services here some shared app here okay so it's a shared module so you can see more than one module has been used in this project and um, you can see the main component routing if you go to app routing you can see if the enter the user is entering the just the website it takes to the home component okay and then if they're trying to go to a different uh, plan module uh, based on the route it goes here okay all right let's let's simplify this let's go to the header header has that adb to c integration okay so whatever code you see is exactly what i gave you uh, in the previous a to adb to c demo videos okay so this is the header one the home component if you look at the home component okay so so all about this is all about logic okay so what i have done is um the one like if you hover on a card okay it flips right you can ask for this kind of a CSS in W3 schools or anywhere in the website uh, in the internet. You get a piece of code. Basically, the piece of code is there's a CSS here, okay, the common CSS there, and these are the CSS. So it's basically a div which has the front and the back. In the front, whatever you wanted to show in the front, that data is coming here. Whatever you wanted to show in the back, two buttons, you see this, comes here. So according to CSS, when you hover it automatically, you feel like it's flipping and it's showing this content. Basically, both the contents are present on the screen. It's just a CSS trick to do this. Okay, looks nice, right? And then based on today's date, it just highlights with a different, uh, you know, what do you call this? Some pink color. You can change whatever color you want. And then that's it, right? So this data is all coming from there. And let me open up this developer tool. Okay, I'm going to refresh this so that we know what kind of calls are going outside. You see this? It's calling this API. Let's see. This API is hosted here. It's calling this uh, API from a from date and to date. Okay, from date is basically 1st of March and the end of the March. Based on the data that we get, we know there were three dates planned. So these dates, right? So, so those dates are now filled with the data. That's it. That's the only thing I'm doing. And you can see this is user friendly and uh, mobile safe. You see this? It's changing. I can, I can actually change it to this view. Um, okay, let's say responsive. Okay. So let's say you wanted to change to iPhone. See, it changes. Click it. It'll come. It'll be very nice. All right, so and then when I go to plan, it takes me, see, it gets some data, it fills up all this information, right? And then, yeah, so and if I go to a particular date, let's see, edit, it calls a particular edit API, it calls edit API, get the response, you see this, this is the response that was there, and according to this data, okay, it fills up all this information. So let's run this, let's refresh this, all this data will come here. Okay, so fairly easy. Let me go back to this one. So all these are familiar. It's 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 almost same with what I've done earlier. Okay, I wanted to um, honor this for the subscribers who have asked this. So here is the demo, here's the app, here's the code. The code will be hosted on the GitHub repository. Like I said, I will still suggest you Use that as your playground, but in order for you to learn Angular, I would personally suggest you go and check these two videos. This has step by step of every single thing that you wanted to know. If you if you are able to build an app by using these concept, I'm pretty sure you can clear any interviews. Okay. Similarly for Web API, if you know the concepts of what is described in this one, 
you can pretty much clear the interview. So all what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you this code in the GitHub repository, give you the link in the video and uh, go through it, enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video with a different concept. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon.